On this example, we want to find the equation for the ellipse. We're going to graph the equation with center at 0, 0, a focus at 0, negative 12, and a vertex at 0, negative 13. Now over here on the left, I wrote out the two orientations for our ellipse. We have a horizontal orientation or a vertical orientation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to graph these details to help me understand um, which, which equation I should start from. So just as a reminder, the horizontal orientation will have an ellipse that's longer horizontally, and the vertical orientation will be longer vertically. Okay, so when I'm putting this information down, it's going to help me to figure out that orientation. So our center is at 0, 0. We have a focus at 0, negative 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's our focus. And then we have a vertex at 0, negative 13. So maybe you think that that's not enough information, but I also know that my horizontal orientation will have the center and the foci to the left and right and the vertices to the left and to the right. And with my vertical orientation, the center will be there. Above and below will be where the foci are. Above and below will be where the vertices are. So based on the placement of these points, since they're lining up with each other vertically, I know that this this equation is going to match the one with the vertical orientation. So I'm going to use x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Now we need to fill in these pieces h, k, B, and A in order to write the equation in detail. So we have to know what those things stand for. So the center is our HK, and we were given a center of 0, 0. So we know that H is 0 and K is 0. We also need to know what A and B stand for. A is going to be the distance between the center and a vertex. B, that's the distance between the center on the shorter side. So I call it the minor vertex. And C is the distance between the center and the focus. So we can see here that, for, that our A is from the center to this vertex here, and that is a distance of 13. So I know that A is 13. And C is the distance between the center and the focus, so that's going to be 12. So C is 12. Now, we didn't get any information about how wide this parabola is, excuse me, this ellipse is. So we're going to have to use this equation here to figure out what B is, and that's why it's there. If we know two of them, we can find the third. So b squared plus c squared equals a squared. b squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. I'm going to subtract 12 squared 
and get b squared equals 13 squared, that's 169, minus 12 squared, that's 144. So b squared is equal to 25, and that means that b is equal to 5. So I can write the equation, and I can also draw the graph now because I have all the details. So filling in the center of 0, 0, filling in a b of 5 and an a of 13 would give me x minus 0 squared over 5 squared plus y minus 0 squared over 13 squared equals 1. That's x squared over 25 plus y squared over 169 equals 1. And I can also graph that parabola. I know because of the symmetry, I think I called it a parabola again. This is an ellipse. Um, I can, because of the symmetry, go up 13, and in both directions around the center, 5. And I'll be able to draw my ellipse using those vertices. So let me zoom out so we can see our, all of our work. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.